Hello guys, welcome to the current series of JMeter tutorial for beginners. So in this video, we are going to learn about JMeter test script recorder. Now you can say that how to record a script. Now let us simply head over to JMeter. So here in JMeter, what you have to do is that simply right click over the test plan, go to add. Then here in the non-test elements, simply choose the option HTTPS test script recorder. Now once you're over here, what you have to do is that you guys need to check the global settings over here. What is the port number? We've already specified that we, uh, you should be uh, specifying the same port number, right? So whatever port number you are using over here, you need to specify this port number somewhere where in the internet options. So let us just quickly do that. So over here, we'll open uh, this start menu, then we'll look for internet options. Now over here in the internet options, what we have to do is that we just need to go to the connections tab in the LAN settings, check this option and make sure that the address is localhost and the port number is same, right? Click on OK, click on OK and you're done. Now the next thing is you need to start recording things. So what you have to do is you need to start this script recorder, right? But if you click on start, it will give you this kind of error. What is this error? So this error tells us that we should be using a recording controller, which does not exist. So we need to make sure that we should be able to record it somewhere, right? So here I'll choose the option test plan HTTPS test script recorder. Right now, if you notice something, there is no sub element. So there is no child element to this, right? Now what I'll do, I'll simply start my server, the proxy server. This will give you a prompt regarding a root certi CA certificate. We'll be learning about it, how we can make use of HTTPS websites. Right now we'll be learning about how we can record a non-HTTPS website that is a non-secure non website, right? So over here now, just open a new tab and we'll be making use of Chrome right now. So in the new tab, what you can do is we can simply browse a website. For example, say the official website of JMeter that is jmeter.apache.org. I'll just open it and you can see that this website has opened for me, right? But if we go over here, it is not showing me. So what is the issue? It has loaded it from the cache. So let us just refresh this. Now it will be loaded from the server and you can see that now there is a sub element, right? So if you expand this, you would notice that this is the website that we requested, but there is some information being shown. Now, what is this information and how would you be able to understand this? This is pretty simple. It is showing us the server name that we requested. That is jmeter.apache.org and the protocol was this, right? And apart from that, it loaded one other thing as well. That is the image that is favicon, not png, right? Now, Right now, I'm just loading it up a normal page. What if I don't want to have these safe images recorded, right? What I can do? So let us just do one thing. Let us just specify some filters so that we should not get any unnecessary things, right? So what I'll do, I'll simply go to the advanced tab. And here, if you notice something, we have, okay, uh, not here actually, sorry, here, right? So in the requests filtering tab, we have something over here that is URL patterns to uh, include. And in the same way, we have the URL patterns to exclude. So if I add, uh, if I choose the option add suggested include excludes, right? What it would do is it would exclude the BMP files, CSS files, right? And in the same way, it will include all the files that are not needed. Right now, in this major the file major of the files fall. But what if you want to include something which is already sorry, you want to exclude something which is not there already, right? So over here, PNG is missing. So what you can do is simply edit this text, right? It will look something like this. Uh, say like this, right? Delete. Yeah. So it will look something like this. All you have to do is that double click over here, move the cursor once uh, one time back, then add a pipe separator, how you can add it. Shift and the button above 
enter okay so uh, it may be the button above enter or there is a flat line in, uh, in the above part right so that key can be anywhere in the keyboard then just type in png now this is a regular expression no need to worry about it right and you can just uh, start working with it directly so over here we have excluded png file as well now the next thing is simply we need to do something that is we need to request some page for example let us just open user manual right the moment i open user manual you can see that this page has been loaded but i don't think so there would be any images so let us just do one thing let us just go to the say uh, component reference right there would be a lot of images in this so as you can see that there are some images let us see whether these images have got recorded or not if you notice something we opened a page component reference and this is the only page which is reflecting over here right so we have the url you have the protocol you have the server name right everything is there we have the path as well right so everything is here but nothing unnecessary is here now right so this is how you can make use of http script recorder now what if you would want to do something that is you would want to specify some say uh, prefixes right now whenever you start script recorder you get a window something like this now over here i would be specifying prefixes so what we'll do we'll specify some prefix over here say i want to go to the page download releases so download releases right so over here i've specified something now let me just click on download releases it will take us to this page and if you notice something it has made a note that this is download releases right so over here these are the things and if you notice something the last request had it had the number 5 now this one request is having the number 167 so there are a lot of requests being ignored in between right we are just having the thing that we need right so this is how you can record things with the http script recorder and you can record a non https website that is a simple http website with the http uh, with this recorder now what if you would want to record https websites so you can watch the next video regarding that we have discussed in detail how we can record that thank you